Hello and welcome to Global Talk Show powered by Business Power Academy, Netherlands. And today we are going to witness again an amazing and intellectual journey from India, Dr. K. Prabhakaran. Welcome, sir, to our show. Honored, honored, doctor. I'm very much honored. Well, before I take a deep dive with you all again on my journey, let me uprise my guest today. And he is a brilliant person that you can say about southern part of India, that is Chennai. Well, Mr. Kalivathu Prabharan is an academician, mentor, BOS scholar, and faculty in B schools and management professional in Chennai. And he is doing wonders and wonders. And he is there with us today to our global talk show to ensure everyone with his life journey and a transformational waves is going to spread across the globe. Well. Thank you, Doctor. That's a great introduction. Thanks for your kind words. So we all know about your work, but still, my audience would love to know about your own inspirational journey from you. I am graduated. Uh, I was graduated somewhere in the 80s with a degree in mathematics and management. And I finished in law. And I stepped into insurance as a career. As a marketing person in somewhere in 2000, that is after 15 to uh, 10, years, 10 to 15 years of service, I stepped in as a branch manager. Then I became a divisional manager and then a senior divisional manager with 20 years of marketing, with a high profile on both marketing, training, development in all the verticals of client settlements. I have been performing well and had a very great satisfactory service. Then after retirement, I took out as a specialist in the general insurance ombudsman office in Chennai. We redress the grievances of the insuring public with the insurance companies. That is the present job that I'm handling. And besides that, I give guest lectures on management and soft skills and enjoy because we learned a lot from the society. And the society has been very kind enough to bring us into the laurels of the world. I'll be happy to share something and will be beneficial to the new generation. Thank you. Wow, this is really, really an inspirational journey of yours, Dr. K. Prabhakaran. And it's uh, you can say that you are spreading positivity, you are spreading a wave of soft skill to the world. And of course, it's my own city, Chennai. So I feel so privileged today to host you. Well, thank sir, you, thank uh, you. We, uh, when we are moving to any journey, whether it's a life journey or professional journey, we face some challenges in everybody's life. So would love to know that what kind of a challenges you are facing or you faced and how you have overcome. And my audience would love to know those tips and tricks from you. Officially, we didn't have much challenges. Marketing was a very my own subject and I love a great passion for marketing and I was placed in Sivakasi, my birthplace and you all know that Sivakasi is very famous for firearms, matches and uh, printing industries and firearms and match industries uh, by virtue of their hazardous nature, we don't have to go into street for marketing. Almost most of the industries are statutorily obligated to have insurance. And if we stick on to the service parameters, service excellence, and making sure that you reach the client's needs first time, right time, every time. And we were, I belong to the top national new India assurance company, which is a national leader in general insurance company. And I was finding it very, very lovely. And there was not even a single bit of difficulty in my career as a challenge. Of course, in life, uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, difficulties, ups and downs. Right, right. Ups and, downs and uh, we were able to manage and uh, co cope up with that. And uh, COVID has taken a lot of change, the challenges in life. 
but for these things uh, god has been very uh, blessing me all the way and uh, i was comfortable and i am comfortable now yes and uh, very true this covid has pandemic has changed everything you can say globally where people were not doing about the you know online what is online boom everywhere is online and if we see the positive side i mean today we can connect globally if i talk about my global clients i can connect with us uk very easily and we can share all the things and since we are uh, neighbors so neighbors also can connect you know without uh, any problem without any hazardous effects and this is the positive side we get so that's really great sir and awesome the way you are handling the way you told about the challenges well i heard about uh, from you only just now you said that you are taking soft skills in b schools in chennai so i would love to know what kind of soft skills what are the modules which you are focusing and what are the b schools which you are focusing in chennai <clears throat> i had been to i was earlier with the indian student management trichrapalli here i do it with anna university as well as with uh, dr b s adbur rahman university and i was with uh, liba lala institute of business administration and i have a frequent visitor for the madras management association also right and and um, uh, i'm quite astonished i am from a rural background he studied in tamil medium that is in our vernacular language in tamil nadu but i find the people in chennai those who have been from the southern parts of the district are very knowledgeable and updating themselves not only on the soft skills and english and their performance level including academics and extra curricular activities and they are absolute awesome in their employability you you take almost any of the multinational companies i had been to recent so- software industries for uh, employable thing and today i had been to uh, the ag yeah. office yes. uh, wherein we did, i trained the newly recruited officers right. and uh, and uh, ag office chennai is very fortunate because uh, it controls three day de- three states tamil nadu pondicherry and kerala yeah. and uh, today's participants were mostly from kerala and they are all almost they learn a lot uh, i am almost 61 now and during my days learning was not easy i will love to go and search books uh, even for dale carnegie and a norman yeah. simpel and i'm i'm not talking about that soft skills that we learnt in uh, books we had been to anna yeah, university we had been yes. to we had been to kanimara and we have been finding it very difficult to get a book and we were even chasing the librarian to make sure that we were informed when the book is returned so that we will get back but as dr kalam has said now everything is in your palm yeah that's absolutely true. it is technology has taken us from the invention of the telephone and the wheels and the gps wherein navigation was done through the stars very true now, sir right now uh, we are going terribly absolutely wonderful and the children and the efforts that the parents put on the children for their betterment we were at least were asked to go in for sports and elocution competition and quiz competition during my schooling in my 60s but my daughter who is a software engineer and my son in law who is also a software engineer they are doing excellent in every field that they step in they were there into united states for more than 6 years Right. and uh, now now they are back into chennai and i find lot of transformation in their own personal life and the way they take things and challenges in life i was finding it my diffi- very difficult even in spite of being given a yeah. car and petrol and all allowances i was finding it difficult to drive on my own during my days uh, today my daughter has phoned me that i have a program on uh, 8th at mamalapuram and i am going to take my car daddy and this i just to tell you this is how you this new generation is coping up with their uh, not only their work life also yeah. their social life they are right. absolutely perfect right you right you 
and it's all credit goes to the new challenges because when we were taught about the challenges sometimes we'll get nervous or how we will cope up. but when i see the young generation they are very very smart and uh, trust me when i don't know anything i will ask the children how to do this how to do that and they are better technology savvy and they can just tell you in a minute in a moment and this really uh, is a surprising one for the parent so i think the technology is more towards them rather than us that's really really great part yeah. we can say yeah and i was i was talking to you about a session that i handled on 26th november yeah yeah and yeah. Uh, and uh, the the date was so specific to one particular incident okay. and the moment i interrogated about that they were all about the places where uh, the things have happened and the national security guards uh, braveness and the uh, methodology in which they have absolutely carried out the mission that they were charged and the whole 14 hours they were able to narrate which i'm afraid whether you and i doctor in case if we were asked to do it <laughs> besides the memories that we have and yeah. the painful days that we have come across especially during those 2008 regime but those these children were not that much aware of all the terrorism and the rest but they are all coping up under the patriotism they they valor over yeah simply great hats off to them really. hats off to them and even uh, the way they have been brought up they have been raised up is all technology savvy even sometimes we get scared don't touch laptops or don't be a gadget savvy but they will do just tuck 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 and everything will be on the platform so we sometimes get scared and we sometimes gets appreciate oh you are the master one rather than us <laughs> so and, uh, 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 whether whether be it an application and uh, even a transfer of money yeah and, uh, that's true. Uh, my 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 uh, especially the ch- young children they will add your pay and make a transfer faster than you exactly exactly in a banking app i'm banking not talking app, about right. the rest of yeah and i'm not talking about the rest of thing and they are more careful about the spams and the email proof yeah. that they are getting up and they are very cautious about visiting places and the sites and they are cautious they are intelligent and they are more powerful and more adaptive we yeah. normally call in technology and also especially in management we say that it is not the powerful people those who succeed yeah it is only the people those who are more adaptive to situations adaptive. and changes right. and uh, this generation they have uh, even cope with the covid had their online classes i'm afraid if such thing have happened during our generation many of us wouldn't have happened. completed schooling and these children are brilliant and uh, they are doing things wonderful and we, as dr kalam has said uh, by 2027 uh, almost uh, with uh, the independence getting closer to this by 2047 india is going to be a super powerful nation with the generation and the commitment you will have to walk through the schools i forgot about the b schools that we go ahead especially the smaller schools were in the government schools uh, i had a, a lucky option to visit uh, queen mary's college once where yeah. non mudal van uh, the oh. scheme that has been launched by the government uh, f- for employability skills in logistics and supply chain and those children are not though privileged to have studied in big convents but in spite of it they are thorough with all the transport regulations and the updations and what skills they need to improve upon their own personal uh, job employability betterment skills so that they will never be able to uh, left out over in the market and they are aware uh, whether it be 50000 rupees a month or 5 lakhs it all depends upon not only the education they know that the ask permits we normally state no yeah. attitude skills and skills uh, knowledge yeah, yeah, yeah. they are doing it so we need not to worry about anything they are yeah, yeah, smarter than and just ask. and i tell you never do any extra pedaling all of yeah. them just do the soft pedaling yeah. and you don't have even have to ask them to be specific with any particular grades 
forget that those were all golden days that we did it yes. now we, now the grades doesn't matter it all matters how do they perform in each job that they were assigned to and they are excellent in anything that they do the youngest grandmasters that we saw in the yeah. chess tournaments recent Exactly. And the way you will have to go out and see how people are doing the net practice in cricket. And uh, I, I was there as a judge in the Toastmasters. Oh, great. That's and, to be honest, it was not people, those who have aged more than 30 and 40 winning the prize. <laughs> okay. To my uh, absolute surprise, the, especially the 12th grades, yeah. 10th grades, people, those who are in the 70th, you give them any subject for that matter. Let it be Thank posh. You. Prevention of sexual harassment. Yeah. A child at uh, 18 years of age is doing it perfect. I don't mean the top-notch schools of the Chennai. I'm talking even about the government schools and they are doing wonderful. Uh, their job right. knowledge, the knowledge that they have and the application of their mind and the awareness about the society. They are brilliant. We are in a very safe hands of the future. Yeah, and absolutely. only thing is, you are all doing very wonderful human service, doctor. You will have to ensure that these children are properly placed in the global arena so that their knowledge levels improve upon and they get the international education and lift themselves. It is not sufficient. I had a, I'm sorry to state this, uh, you would have all listened to Dr. Ravishankar's, our uh, honorable yeah. person stating that India's universities have not ranked, even the top IIMs and IITs didn't figure in the 250 of 250, the global. Yes, yes. You know, in spite of all this, we will have to admit, there are, other, there are uh, the level in which as we have it in the economy, mm -hmm. there are 20% of the people those who are more richer than the 80% are still and below the poverty yes. lines. Similarly, the creamy layer of knowledgeable uh, people are there in the society and we will have to ensure that this diversity should be inclusive and make sure that it is equanimity is maintained. All are given opportunities equally and you are doing a great service and I request the audience to please utilize the services of people, those who are doing international education, bringing up to Indian domestic front so yes. that uh, we live up to it. Uh, to be very honest, we were talking so seriously. I'll take um, a few minutes. Sure, sure. Uh, my daughter was, uh, pe was studying in a very big uh, institution mm -hmm. and got her campus placed and she was with one of the multinational companies in Chennai. Wow. And immediately she was uh, almost got a promotion and a placement in three years as a dutiful father. I got her married mm -hmm. and uh, it was fortunate that my son-in-law got employed in New Jersey and uh, New Zealand, I mean New Jersey and New York by the time of her marriage and later on he was shifted to Los Angeles. So he, she got H1B visa. Wow. She cannot pursue her uh, studies. She went, she can employment too, because it is forbidden yeah. there to employ. Yeah. And uh, they were there for six years. Mm -hmm. But it is uh, the people like you who did help them improve upon their skills. Now she has completed a Scrum Master's course, right. automation. And after the five years break, she is back here in Chennai and is now employed in another software industry and she is an automation specialist. I'm that just giving it great I'm just giving it as the uh, I'm not uh, boasting about my daughter. I'm just telling you this is how this younger generation are living up to the expectations of right. the society to make sure that they are employable at every level. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we need not to worry anymore. And they are much smarter than us. We can absolutely. say this. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. But at the same time, we will have to caution them on certain incidents yeah. which they are not aware not of. Not aware of. As an experience, we can say. We can guide yeah. them, motivate yeah. them. That's motivate really them. True. And we will have to caution them. Just yeah. caution them. No, that's simple. That's enough. And I'm very happy that I met uh, Sir Yu 
who appreciated the younger generation because I was getting people who were just saying only, you know, negative or gray shades of younger generation. They are not unpunctual. They are not cultural person. But you, you know, you broke the records and you elevated, motivated the younger generation. So heartfelt thanks to you too. Great. I've, I've, been, I've been involved in this uh, soft skill training and uh, motivated yeah, yeah. in many of the institutions in Chennai and uh, South India. Uh, also in the Administrative Staff College of India, Hyderabad. And I had been to Pune mm -hmm. and uh, Bombay and Delhi. I find our people especially in Tamil Nadu, are awesome to the core, be it right. their knowledge level, their application, the commitment, the involvement. Punctuality is Simply must. superb. Yeah, yeah, it was 10 o'clock today at a session that I went in and all people are fully packed yeah. with, all, with all the uh, program yeah. that I gave them yesterday on a homework. Right, uh, some pre training requirements in Google Forms that I sent them. They are all prepared and they were with the bounty of questions asking me about the nuances and intricacies of the subjects that I'm going to discuss upon. And this kind of involvement, I honestly admit, besides all the qualification that speaks behind me, I didn't have it during the air age. And this generation is really committed. Of course, we need a little bit of uh, motivation to make sure that they live up to the international standards. And that is what you are doing, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Well, sir, in moving to our uh, this journey, uh, I would love to know that in your life, is there any turning point came that when you said, yes, this was my transformation point, or yes, this is my turning point? So we would love to know that. Turning point. <laughs> I, I, I was graduated in Tyagaraja College. Okay. Right. I had two of my professors, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Raja Govinda Swami and Professor H. Srinivasan. And okay. uh, they, what, now, whatever I am doing, I will have to give full credit to Professor Srinivasan and Dr. Uh, Raja Govinda Swami because they did ensure that. We speak and improve on our communication, uh, language, and the subject, and the commitment. Right. They wanted us to be involved, and they helped us to innovate, creative, at a very tender age of my 25. I would say that, that was the very uh, basic turning point. Had it not been for the JCs and Rotaries, yeah. Those who have uh, transformed me into a public speaking person, I would have been simply uh, different. Uh, I would have been a very uh, successful insurance person, just that. <laughs> but this has helped me to be a more society-centric and people-centric management and helping yeah. people improve. And upon. Right. That's really great. And all transformation begins when we want to change really in ourselves, in our personality, and we want to flourish our life. So very true, I do agree with you. And uh, may God uh, bring a lot of transformational, uh, you know, lives, turning points in your life. I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. I'm honored, doctor. Well, when we are moving to a life journey, I would love to know, my next question is, what's your mission? I was trained by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam at Pune. I was fortunate to oh. be there. And I was the single doctorate. Oh, great. All the other participants were from Maulana Abdul Kalam um, Institution of Management, then uh, Indian Institute of uh, IIT Powai, Mumbai. And I had uh, people from Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, mm -hmm. and uh, CED. Right. Nims me Hyderabad. All technocrats with double doctorates and very young intellectuals like uh, you, doctor. Why? Because I was almost in my 45s when I went for the training. And he has given all of us a mission. 
and you i just wanted to quote he dr kalam was not happy when he launched all the satellites and not when he made the pokhran mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. and not when we, he was a national defense advisor for the gown then president and all that when he was a president he was also not happy what he, was his life's mission's completion was when he find out that 400 grams artificial limb for the underprivileged yeah. he would you would all read in the wings of fire yeah. and he wanted all the participants we, that we were listening he, he was been very categorically stated that there must be an innovation to help the future generation to be free from physical deformities and free of all diseases like polio and other thing and make sure that the intelligent level of the children of the new generation should be so flourishing that when you die you will see and make sure your country in a better position, better position. when it was when you were born and yeah. that has been my mission and i was lucky enough to be involved in more than 1000 2500 training programs already and i would just love to make it to uh, somewhere <laughs> into the cross of 10k <laughs> uh, and sir i think uh, not only chennai even the world needs your training soft skills <laughs> and uh, that's really great may god bless you and thank with you, lot of success you. honors keep doing thank keep you, flourishing you. and keep shining thank you thank you thank you thank you well moving to our journey i would love to say and love to ask uh well we arrived at the end but this is not the end of the journey because every ending has a new beginning that's what i suppose so what's your message to the audience who is listening to you the message is life is not easy it gives you no know, like dr kalam has said i would very frequently quote him because even during our age we were finding i didn't have all these luxuries in spite of my grandparents were richer than me they had bigger houses but they didn't have my honda city and honda jazz right they didn't put me in a top school that i did place my ch- my child what am i telling us that make sure that you learn learn continuously learn everything there is a saying in tamil karkai nanre karkai nanre pichai puginum karkai nanre that even if you are forced to beg that could be the last resort any man can do it but still you do it learn learn right. from anybody learn right. on anything improve your knowledge have a commitment stick to it right. put in all your efforts come what may uh, to i am not i will not say this in public but it happens life is not easy right in my in your age and my age we would have seen lot of topsy turvies at home like a loss of a loved one or sickness of a loved people and there could be some uh, financial and economic right. losses yeah the loss of jobs yeah there could be some but besides all this you will have to rise up and deliver up to the expectations of your own self forget about this and make sure that there have been a lot of people those who have given us something the parents the teachers the society and the countrymen and those who are saving us from kargil to jammu kashmir and for them we will have to make sure our country is flourishing and it is possible only when we improve upon thank you sir that would be my message to the youngsters great and i think this is the wonderful message which are youngsters not only youngster i mean i mean to say every gender caste creed you know everybody is getting today your positive vibes your positivity will spread across the globe 
that thank that's you, really you. great sir thank you doctor. thank you doctor heartfelt thanks to you for thank coming you, to thank our you, show doctor. thank you doctor you have spent a great great evening from india and to thank other you, uh, you can say other time zones a good morning and a good news thank you so much thank you doctor thank you i am honored doctor it's a great privilege doctor have a great day doctor and thank you so much my audience for uh, listening to us this great global talk show which is so inspiration intellectual and whatever adjectives i will say that will be listened today <laughs> for dr k prabhakaran and i will say only one thing let's move forward let's start forward whatever problems or adversity comes in your way just forget it and move on thank you so much, sir yes <laughs> thank you thank you bye bye great let's keep going love you thank you